In this video we're going to go back to our favorite reaction here and calculate what the entropy change during this chemical reaction is. So we have, as usual, the lowercase letters are stoichiometric coefficients, number of moles of the number of moles or molecules of each species which are present in the reaction, and then the uppercase letters are representative of an individual chemical species. So for this reaction we'd have delta RS not so this would be the standard molar entropy of reaction for this reaction that would be d times the molar entropy of species d plus c times the molar entropy of species c those are products so they have positive coefficients the reactants have negative coefficients because they have disappeared, minus A, molar entropy of A, minus B, times molar entropy of B. Okay, and if we generalize this to a general set of reactants, uh, NI, I, so there's NI moles of each species I, and there are I of them there and you go to a set of products J, which have J, NJ moles of each chemical species, capital J. Then for this reaction that I have written there, the most general way I can write it, the molar entropy of that reaction is going to be a sum over all species J, NJ molar entropy of all the products J, minus sum over all the reactants I, molar coefficient for each chemical reactant, and then molar entropy of each species I. So let's do an example. Let's do the example I always like to do, the combustion of glucose. So our example is going to be C6H12O6 solid plus 6 O2 gas yields 6 CO2 gas plus 6 H2O liquid. So before we start here, let's do some predictions of what we think the sign of this is going to be. So we want to look at the number of moles of gas produced first because gas has the highest molar entropy of any phase. We have six moles of gas in our reactants, six moles of gas in our products, so those are going to be uh, fairly equal to each other, and they'll probably cancel out for the most part. And in our and then in our products, we have six moles of liquid, and we have zero moles of liquid here, so that's going to produce a lot of entropy, having those additional moles of liquid. And we go from one mole of solid to having zero moles of solid in our products, so we lose a little bit of entropy, but solids have very low entropy. But the big gain is going to be we're going to get six new moles of liquid for only losing one mole of solid. So there's going to be a ton of entropy produced over here in the net for having this water. So we predict that the entropy of this reaction should be quite positive. So I'm going to make a table, and that table is going to have each chemical species in this reaction, and it's going to have the standard molar entropy of all of them. So we're going to start with glucose, and that is 209.2, .2. and the unit for all of these is joules per Kelvin mole. For O2 gas, it's also important to take note of the phase, that's 205.2. .2. For CO2 gas, it's 213.8 and for H2O liquid that is going to be 70.0 so it looks like as I said the O2 and CO2 are going to be fairly equal so equal number of moles of each they're going to about cancel out but this H2O is going to produce a lot more than this uh, glucose Right now you might be thinking, why is this glucose, which is a solid, 
have more entropy than H2O. It's just because it's so much bigger. Um, entropy tends to go up with increasing mass, and that's just because you have more translational and rotational energy levels open to you. So in general, a, a liquid of the same species will have more entropy than a mass of the same species, but it's something much, much heavier will probably have more entropy than something much, much lighter, even if it's a uh, liquid versus solid like that. Okay, so on to the calculation. We're going to have standard molar entropy of reaction. It's going to be six times molar entropy of CO2, 213.8, plus six times molar entropy of H2O, 70.0 minus glucose, one mole, at 209.2, minus six times the oxygen, which is 205.2. So plug those values into your calculator. You'll get that the standard molar entropy of reaction for the combustion of glucose comes out to be 262, wow, way off there, 262.4 joules per Kelvin mole. So as we predicted, there's a lot of entropy produced in this reaction from producing the extra moles of liquid, uh, no extra moles of gas, and only losing one mole of solid during that combustion.